Hey guys, so I'm going to show you a content marketing strategy today. So I've got lots of content for you that's going to help you get more traffic and more sales, more opt-ins, all the good stuff today. So we're talking about content marketing. What is content marketing? Well, I'm going to give you six reasons why you should be using content as part of your marketing strategy. I'm going to give you seven types, seven types of content to use that will help you increase your online presence, get more traffic, get more sales. And I'm going to give you a new traffic source as part of this strategy that we haven't looked into before. It's actually a new type of content that we haven't covered before. So lots to get through today. Let's get started. So let's talk about, well, the six reasons to use content marketing. So there they are, traffic, email subscribers, customers, higher search engine rank, social media followers, and niche authority credibility. So let's go through them. So traffic, what we do is we, we promote content on a wide variety of different platforms and we we encourage that traffic to take a very specific action. And that will vary from person to person. So you have to know what your end point is. It's probably going to be to build an email list. So you probably want them to opt in, subscribe to email list. So you have to know what your end point is before you start content marketing. Remember the, the uh, funnel structure that I've gone through? So we've got top of funnel content, middle funnel content and then bottom of funnel, uh, funnel content. So top of funnel content is what we're talking about today. This is all the, the stuff that we, we give away for free. We, we push out there to bring people into the funnel. So that's how we get traffic. And then when we ask them to take action, that's when they become subscribers. So we, we can ask them to make a purchase if we want to, so we can turn them into customers but it's probably smarter to turn them into email subscribers first. And then also with content marketing, if we do clever keyword research, know what our search volume is for specific keywords and we make sure that the search volume isn't too small and it's not too great and it has the right level of competition. So we're not going up against websites like Forbes or really high authority websites that's going to be difficult to compete with. So we have to know what the search volume is going to be and then optimize that content to rank, hopefully on the front page for those very specific keywords. Also with content marketing, we can use it to grow our social media presence. So we can create, there's a couple of ways of doing this. So what you can do is create teaser content I've actually got about 23 different types of content you can use for social media. That's in an upcoming course, which I'm, I'm going to tell you about later on in another video. Obviously, Vault members will get that for free, but it's a, it's a new course. It's going to show you a really, really stealthy social media strategy. There's 23 types of content to use on social media. But basically, we can create teaser content, push that out on social media, bring it back to our blog post or other pieces of content. I'm going to show you the, the types of content to use in a second. And we can also use content to establish ourselves as an authority in your niche. So you get credibility and authority. So that's six reasons, six really good reasons to use content marketing. And if you have a look at what any successful entrepreneur or marketer is doing on the internet, Guess what? They're doing content marketing. Even Musk, Elon Musk is doing content marketing. So let's have a look at the seven types of content to use as part of your content marketing strategy. So seven types of content. So we've got blog posts, podcasts, videos, eBooks, infographics, social media posts, and presentations. So you might be familiar with the top three. So blog posts, podcasts, videos. This this tends to be the big three columns 
of a content marketing strategy. So you'll notice if you have a look at what I do, I tend to do, I tend to start with video. That's my main content medium, or content format. And then I take the video, turn it into a podcast, upload, upload that to um, a range of different podcast providers or service hosts like iTunes, uh, Stitcher, Google Play. There's a few more that I upload to. And then I take the audio and I turn that into a, a blog a blog post. Now, I, I'm not too strong on my blog post stuff. I, I'm more comfortable with, with video. But that's how I do my three columns of, of my content marketing strategy. That's what I encourage you to do. So choose one of those formats, video, podcast or blog posts. Choose one. Does it really matter? And stick with it. Whichever one you're good at, whichever one you enjoy doing, because that's the one you're going to stick at. And once you get comf comfortable with that, and you're you're on a, on a roll, you got content coming out on a regular, consistent basis. Then think about bringing in another column. So for me, obviously, I I spent a long time doing video, maybe maybe about a year or so practicing with video before I got comfortable enough to bring in any other type of of content. But, you know, everyone's different. So you will probably do it a lot faster. A lot of people do it within the first three months. They have the, the first three content columns done and dusted, ready uh, and out there and, you know, producing producing traffic within the first three months. So that's something to aim for. Just choose one of those. Then we can also combine blog posts together, group them together by category, and then turn them into eBooks. And we can use them as lead magnets or give, give them away on, on um, other websites. We can, we can do lots with eBooks. You can upload them to Kindle. Then we've got infographics. I'm not too strong on my infographic game. I don't really bother with, with it too much, but I know lots of people who do really well with infographics. So what they do is they take a piece of a study or, or some data. They go to Fiverr and just pay someone to turn it into an infographic. And then this is easily shareable across social media. So you can use it as, as part of your social media strategy. You can send it to other websites and they will credit you, link to your website in return. Social um, infographics are really popular, really easy to do. I just I just haven't got there yet. So social media posts are another type of content, easy to do. As I said, I've got 23 different types of social media posts that you can use to grow an audience and increase engagement. I'll tell you all about that in another video. And then we've got presentations. And that's what we're going to talk about today because we haven't covered presentations on Profit Copilot before. This is a completely new content format that we haven't delved in delved into before. So we're going to focus on creating presentations, getting traffic, and building an audience through using presentations. They're a really underused strategy, so the competition is pretty low. Chances are your competition are probably not doing this. So that means <laughs> when everyone zigs, we zag, right? So I'm going to show you how to do that, how to do content marketing with presentations today. So the website we're going to use, let me, let me show you the stats so you can decide for yourself if this is something that you want to do. So here we are in similar web. So you can see that this platform we're going to use today was founded in 2006. So it's been around quite a long time. The authority is huge and it was actually purchased by LinkedIn a few years ago. So it's got heavy investment, heavy, heavy promotion that you can benefit from. As you can see, the global rank is 304. Huge country rank India. 185. It's massive. Have a look at how much traffic this platform gets. They were touching on 200 million 
unique visits every single month. Look at that. And then at the low point, there's 134 million visitors a month. Then it bounces up to 181. So on average, it gets 165 million visitors every single month. I'm going to show you how to put your stuff on this platform so you can siphon traffic, credibility, and all that good stuff. So let's have a look at traffic by countries. So top is India, second Brazil, third is United States, Mexico is fourth, and Peru is fifth. So what does this tell us? This tells us that if you are trying to monetize your website through AdSense or banner ads, display adverts, this might not be the best traffic source for you. But listen, if you're trying to monetize 100% through display advertising, you're leaving a huge amount of money on the table. You've got to be collecting leads, turn traffic into subscribers, and you will profit through, through building trust and delivering value. That's how you do it. So... India 8%, Brazil 7%, USA 7%, Mexico 6%, Peru 6%. Okay, let's go down to traffic sources. So 13% direct, 2% referrals, 79% search. It's huge. This is really good for us. So it tells us a lot of the traffic coming to this platform is from search engines. So that's good for us. So just being mentioned on this platform, forget about links and all that stuff for a second, just being mentioned on this platform is going to be really good for your SEO. So it can count as a citation. Then we've got 4% from social media. That's pretty good too. So we can see that a lot of the traffic here is going to be organic. Organic traffic is loyal traffic. So carrying on, let's go down to search. So here you can see that of that 79%, 100% is organic. Really good for us. So let's double check things in rank two traffic. So you can see over the last 10 years, the growth has been crazy. So 10 years ago, March 20, 2009, it had 20 million unique visitors a month, which is still epic. If we found if we found a traffic source that had that many visitors, we'd be all over it. But this, look at this. So traffic in, increases over the years. And it goes up to, look, 290 million unique visitors in that month. So almost 300 million visits in a month mental right and then you can see it starts to decline so it's got these peaks and it drops down <laughs> at the low point at, the, at its lowest point since this since it started to increase in traffic it's 152 million visits a month at its lowest point that's crazy high and then you can see it's, it's probably start to even out a little bit so so the drop off, the decline in traffic is decreasing. It might be leveling out a little bit. And here you can see today it gets 166 million visits a month. But if we have a look over the last six months, according to Rank 2 traffic, we can see that, it, yeah, it drops a bit. So it drops by, well, maybe 40 million. But then it increases again towards towards where we are now. So this tells us that this platform is going to be around for a long time to come. So it makes sense to use it. So let's go check it out. You can see it for yourself if you want to use it. This platform is called slideshare.net. S-L-I-D-E-S-H-A-R-E dot -E net. And it is owned by LinkedIn. So they put, purchased it a few years ago. So it says, discover, share, learn. 
share what you know and love through presentations, infographics, documents and more. So if we have a look at what people are doing on this platform, here you can see that this guy, today's top slide shares, imagine if you were on the front page of this. So look at this, this guy, he's advertising a book. So he's got 700,000 views. Imagine if you were here, this one has got 800,000 views. And then this one here, which seems to be related to that one, has got over half a million views. And then we've got, look at this, featured slide shares. So this one has got six, sorry, this six months ago, over the last six months, it's got over a million views. This one has got three million views. And there you can see this one again has got a million, 600,000, over a million there. Featured courses from, I don't think this is relevant to us, maybe. I don't know. Daily top headlines, 80,000 views, 700, seven, excuse me, 79,000 views. This one, updated 11 minutes ago, it's got 59,000 views. This one, 80,000 views, 11 minutes ago. Then you've got trending in social media. These seem to be a little bit old, so five years ago, probably not that relevant now. But then you can see, I mean, look at this. Where was it? Daily top headlines over the last 11 minutes, 80,000 views. So how do we use this? We can see that there's a lot of traffic here. So if we can put our stuff in front of these people, we're going to benefit from that. Right? So, well, let's see what other people are doing in our niche. So I'm in marketing, so I'm going to search for marketing. Let's type in marketing. Let's see what we get. Let's, uh, let's go with the cult branding company. So 52 types of marketing strategies. So have a look here. The, they've uploaded like a PowerPoint slide that you can see they're, they're creating educational content. I have to stress that you have to be creating educational or inspiring content. One of the two that's going to do you really well. So there you can see the content is, is short, snappy. It's easy to consume. There's just a few slides there. And this is going to be ranked pretty well in Google as well. So they're, they're going to optimize this. So types of marketing strategies that might well show up in the first page of Google. Haven't checked. It might well do. And there you can see that they've optimized it here again. And then if we click more, look at this. This piece of content has got 80 comments. It's got 1,000 likes. We can see the, stat, the stats there. It's got notes as well. Look at this. Total views, over a million views. And a lot of that comes from embeds. So people can share your stuff pretty easily pretty easily too. I mean, look at that. The, the buttons there. We've got multiple ways to share content. So this, this means SlideShare are putting a lot of focus on encouraging people to share content, which is good for them and it's good for you. So you can see over, over well over a million views. Let's have a look at the cult branding company. Let's see their profile. So we can see that they've got their website address mentioned there. That could be a good citation. They've got links to social media profiles here. This is really solid. And they've got followers. They've got 500 followers there. So they're building an audience. They're going to be ranked on this traffic, on this source, under various tags, which are essentially just keywords, aren't they? So. Let me show you something else. So if we go back, we type marketing 
I want you to pay attention to something here. So all file types. So, so far we're just looking at PowerPoint slides or keynote slides that we, that we can upload. But look, we can also choose. So we're looking at presentations, but we can choose documents, videos, infographics. So you're not limited to just one type of content. So you can choose videos, let's choose that. Then you can see it's just a video. This this video has had over a thousand views, which is pretty good by anyone's standard. So you can upload videos, upload documents and presentations. Now, how do you make presentations? I'm going to show you how to do that. Here we are in canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. And Canva is going to allow us to create lots of different designs and presentations. In fact, if you if you go to the search bar here, click on that, it says suggested presentation. So you can even search for it here or chances are it's just going to pop up automatically. Click that. And now you have lots of free themes that you can use. So decide on how you want your your presentation to look. And then it's just literally a case of just dragging it in like that. And then when you're all done, add in your content, add in your slides. You can just click that button there. So click that and you can download in whatever format you like. So you can upload it as a PDF and you're good to go. But listen, I'm going to give you a few tips on creating the right type of presentation. So no matter what you do, you're going to have to have one goal. You have to, you have to know what your end goal is going to be. So I'm just going to write that on here. So know your end goal. So it could be to get traffic to a website. It could be to get email subscribers, make sales, get social media shares, doesn't matter. You have to know what your end goal is going to be. And then you can put links inside your document too. So SlideShare allows you to link to, to other websites. Now there's a little trick to doing that. So instead of saying something like click here, what you want to do is you want to have a naked URL. So that means you're going to have something like www.yoursite.com and <laughs> that look, doesn't look too great does it your your website address should look something like this let me just drag that into view so you can see it so i would have yoursite.com and the www. so people can see that that it's an actual website address and then i would encourage you to where we are I would encourage you to add an arrow to it. So make sure that people can 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 tell that they this is something they need to pay attention to, they need to click it. So absolutely have naked website URLs there and then have a link uh, an arrow to it too. Okay. So that's one traffic source but it is just the beginning. I've got a whole heap of free traffic sources for you when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic grab them for free and if you found this useful give it a thumbs up below subscribe to the channel too and i will hopefully see you again in a couple of days time take care